wow, you can, it's so loud. As you guys can probably hear, we're here at the stadium. We made it. We have been scouring the internet for some tickets and then last minute, they kind of started going down a little bit. So we splurged, we bought some tickets. We're here at the game, El Clasico, Real Madrid versus FC Barcelona. So yeah, this is really exciting. Um, we just got here, it's like two hours early and it's popping. There's so many people. We're about to go in, I think, and just find our seats and then watch what happens, but yeah. I'm so excited. in that flag in the background. <laughs> We've had this place once already and it's so good. There's literally always a line. Like it's popular. And I think a big reason is that the tacos are one euro each. And they're good. Yeah, super tasty. Like the, the tortilla is like soaked in like oil. So you know, it's like a taco. Traditional, yeah. yeah. It's bomb. And for me, they have, since I've already been here once, I got a quesadilla, which was good. It was a tortilla de... Arina, tortilla. I was thinking trigo for some reason. Arina, uh, uh, wheat. What is it called? Arina. Flour tortilla. Oh, okay. <laughs> Instead of a corn one, so it was nice and big, and then it had a bomb cheese. And I also they also offer tacos de nopal, so it's just um, help, not healthy, but like they have options. So that's what I got last time, and we had their Jamaica. It was really good. Right now they still have horchata and tamarindo, and. Um, Jamaica Agua Fresca, so we're hoping that they still have some when we order. But. Let's go. We just got back to our Airbnb. We left the taco place. It literally, once we ordered, took maybe like three minutes for us to get our food. And there were so many, so many people there. So I'm just shook at their like effectiveness. But look at all the food we got. A bunch of tacos, and then quesadillas, and then we also got horchata and the tamarindo water. So now we're gonna eat. This is how we get to our grocery store. It's literally like underground one floor, but it's basically a Target. There, well, not really. It doesn't have clothes or electronics. It does on the other floors, but just this floor is grocery and like a bunch of other little things. It even has access to the Metro. Really cool. This is what your cart looks like. So everything you can fit in there, you can get. The store, not only is it big, but it also has its own bakery, its own meat department, its own like fish department. It's even like a charcuterie section. Like it's really big and nice. And it's literally like across the street from our apartment, maybe like a one minute walk. So it's really nice. We're gonna do most of our shopping here. Explain your shirt. <laughs> oh yeah, we went to the, like a premiere of a movie. Oh, we didn't go, but outside of our Airbnb, they had like this premiere for this movie and they had um, Javier Bardem, which is Penelope Cruz's uh, husband. And we got to see him in real life and it was pretty sick. And they were throwing out like shirts at the public and they're like super comfy, like super soft. So, like my, Free new, like, shirt. my new chill PJ shirt. <laughs> Replacing the lemon shirt, if you know, oh. you know. <laughs> are heading out because we have a few errands to run and one of those errands includes going to my favorite bookstore in the entire world like I'm not even kidding it's beautiful it's amazing it's literally across the street maybe a one minute walk I'll show you guys on the way down but it's my favorite bookstore because you walk in the first level is like a little bistro they sell desserts they sell sandwiches they sell full meals they have tables and lots of kind of co-working space where you can take your laptop take a book read work do whatever you need to do on that first level and then like i mentioned it's three levels of um, floors with so many different books and the actual bookstore itself is just beautiful like there's this dome with like beautiful art. There's like these windows that you can see out of onto like the main street. It's just super, super nice. And I already know that when we leave our Airbnb here, I'm gonna be really sad because I'm not gonna be able to 
go to that bookstore. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go. I don't really plan on buying anything. Maybe this like little um book bag that I saw last time I saw last time I went there. So if anything, maybe that. But we're just gonna go walk around and then um, go to a few other stores after. But we'll take you guys with us. <laughs> I'm really tempted. They're so cute. They're like two little mini espresso shot cups. And they're only like $10.95. Oh, it's not. There we go. They're so cute. English section as well so tempted especially that one found something I'm for sure getting I saw this in the store the other time I was here but I didn't get it and this time I just can't I can't walk away look it's a mini little tote bag for books here's like the regular size tote bag normal and then a little one specifically to carry your books so I think I'm gonna get the black one so cute and it's 10.50, so that's not bad. And it's easy to travel with, so that's always a plus. It's kind of raining, so we whipped out the umbrella, but it's kind of windy too, so we're kind of scared that it's gonna flip inside out and then it's gonna be embarrassing. <laughs> now I mean, it's happening to a bunch of people. Look at that guy. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't be the only ones. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, we're heading off to H&M now. And then actually last time we were there, I almost got kidnapped. <laughs> I don't know about kidnapped, but it was like a sketchy situation where some guy, I was like looking for him because I couldn't find him. So I was just kind of like looking around and this guy comes up to me and he's like, hi. And I was just like, hi, and kind of walked away because it was just random. But he was like giving me weird vibes. Like he was just like, didn't, I thought he was a worker. Cause like, why would you just approach someone like that? And then, I walked away and I told my friend and we like kept kind of just being like suspicious and I kept seeing him and he was like looking at us and even when I went to tell, finally found him and told him about it, he knew like exactly who I was talking about. He was like, oh, that guy? Like, I don't know. It was just weird. And then we left. So this time we're going to stay together and hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Yeah, he looked pretty sketchy. Like he was, I looked to the back and I saw him like almost like looking from the side of like one of those like clothes yeah. like things and then he like went away after I saw him and he didn't come back or we didn't see him anymore. Yeah. So maybe he was just like... But even before that, like I had already like not run into him but I had seen him like three or four different times like and he wasn't carrying any clothes, he wasn't with anybody and he like at one point like was on the phone. I don't even know if he was but like he had it, it was just weird. And you just get a feeling, you know, like a little instinct feeling. So I was just like, let's go. We left. But now, that was like a week ago. So I doubt he's in there. I imagine he's there waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just stick together this time. But I'm actually coming back because I found this really cute blue sweater last time. And I didn't get it because I was like, oh, I don't need it. But I haven't stopped thinking about it. So and, that's when you know you need it. And out of nowhere, winter struck in Madrid. Right, raining, it's cold. Yeah, and I think Windy. it's, it's going to yeah. stay like this for like the next week, so it makes sense now for me to buy my blue sweater. Hopefully they have it. So I purchased the one thing I came for. I found my sweater. It's just this like light blue turtleneck sweater. Since it's colder weather, I know I'll get some use out of it. And then also when we're in London, I hear it's already really cold over there, so I'm coming prepared. It's already like October 20th and we only have about 10 days till Halloween, but think it's worth it and it, they're like really cheap little things time for dinner we're literally right next to our Airbnb and we've been like eyeballing this Indian place ever since we got here and it's cold and rainy so we're like it's perfect for some Indian food some non like a curry chicken or something like that so we're gonna hit it up so. yeah this is the restaurant <laughs> and that's our apartment it's like in through those doors so we're really close and we're gonna head in, grab some food. Appetizer, veggie, samosa. So good. And we got some sauces. Chili sauce, mango sauce. 
Green sauce. No, he just sold us too. <laughs> I honestly don't even know which green any sauce. of them were. Yeah, <laughs> green sauce. Wait, this is mango? Yeah. Let's try that. Oops. I'm gonna do individual bites to try every sauce. See what I like the best. Mm. Oh, it's warm. It looks so satisfying. Mm. It's so good. Hot. That's good. Okay, most of our food is here. We're just waiting on our garlic naan, but I got a vegetable curry and then... I got a butter chicken and a lamb... Lamb... Biryani? Biryani, some, yeah, lamb biryani. And then we got some just regular rice. Some rice. So we finished our Indian food and we came to like this super popular churro place here in Spain. Uh, they have like over 40,000 reviews on Google so we were like let's go head it up and see how it compares to the other two places that we've tried here in Madrid. Um, and yeah we're just outside it's raining so it's like the perfect weather for some churros and not chocolate or actual like melted chocolate this, which is what they sell here. But yeah we're gonna go inside and order right now. <laughs> We got some good seating because we're outside and it's kind of rainy so I feel like everyone prefers to sit inside but yeah we're here at this really popular chocolate shop I think it's like over a hundred years old that they've been selling churros and chocolate this is our third churreria here in Spain the first one was really good the second one was not good the chocolate was like didn't have a flavor like it and it was really watery it was two thumbs down so we're hoping this one is at least as good as the first one or better so fingers crossed and I'm assuming every time we've walked past this place multiple times and I always see a long line so it has a reputation so my expectations are pretty high yo this chocolate looks real thick and dark <laughs> And it was like 490 euros, so pretty good price. Oh, it's already thicker than the other one. It's probably really hot. Mm. That's pretty good. Very good. Right, let me get a taste. Perfect for this weather too. I'll be the judge of how good this is. Oh my god, it is thick. It like coats it up. That's good. And I'm cold too, so... I know, he's out here shivering. Didn't bring a jacket. <laughs> Yum! It is so Hi guys, um, new day. Today it's already like 5 p.m. so we're picking up the camera kind of late but we have dinner all served because we are going to movie theater here in Madrid. We haven't been to one and you know how we love going to movie theaters. So we're gonna go watch Black Adam. We already got our tickets online and we're just doing a quick dinner. We do still wanna get some snacks at the, what's it called, movie theater? But we wanted to eat a full meal before going over there. Even though they do have like sushi, they have hot dogs, pizza, they have food, but we ate out yesterday. So we're like, you know what, let's have dinner here and maybe we'll get some popcorn and drinks. So we'll show you guys all of that once we go. But for now, we're just gonna eat our meal that we did together. We have this new tuna salad that we've been eating a lot recently. It's just like a, t a mixed tuna salad with, um, usually it's with tuna made in olive oil, like canned tuna. And that's literally like the dressing. It gives the leaves like a nice little oily feeling. And then we add onion, tomato, 
olives, and that's basically it. And then we have some salmon and broccoli to share. So yep, that's gonna be our dinner, and then we're gonna head out after that. We're right outside of the movie theater. Also, like two days ago, they had a premiere really close to our Airbnb, and we actually got to see The Rock. It was crazy, it was like a huge amount of people, and they had like the whole setup with the poster for the movie and stuff, and some of the actors were walking by. The only bad thing is that we had to wait like two hours literally standing outside and he like showed up at the very very end. It was almost like 10. But he did come out and we took some pictures. Not with him just because it was so many people <laughs> but from far away it was pretty cool to actually see him especially a few days before his movie comes out. Uh, but yeah we're gonna head in and see what it looks like. It's luxury so. Yeah we're standing right outside and it actually just started raining a little bit so perfect timing. We're a little bit early but that gives us time to check out the snacks. We are patiently waiting. Our movie doesn't start till 6.45 and it's 6.30 but we have this like little lobby that we're gonna be waiting in. Um, they have like a screen which tells us all the different movies and ours is um, in the seventh room and it says wait. So I'm assuming once that changes to like green we can go in and then we'll show you guys. It's really nice. Very chill. Oh, I just turned green. We can go in now. room seven so we're gonna keep going here we are got some assigned seats so cute Excuse wow me. how much were these tickets like 14 each 14 each yeah so not it's probably like basic like a regular saturday night movie in the usa is a recline It's not moving, but it's moving. This is nice. And also, it's one of those movie theaters where you like scan the menu and they actually come and take your order here. So you don't have to wait in line while your movie's starting. And you're like, oh my god, I want to miss the trailers that are going to start. And then when you like for the popcorn. Yeah, there's actually like a worker right there taking orders. So we're probably going to order some popcorn, maybe some drinks. Since we just ate, we're not like super starving. But yeah, it's nice. Very luxe. And the movie's gonna be in English with Spanish subtitles. So that'll be nice. They put the whole menu on the screen. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Y'all, check out the size of this popcorn. It's ginormous. Yeah, it's mixed with regular salty <laughs> and sweet. Oh my God. Yeah. And we got our topple around like cake. Look at that. Look at the layers. Mm. It's cold. Si es que en Taco Bell se come Bye. con las manos.